then try it one more time. Okay. And I want you. Yes. Okay. You so go. you got to use a lot of air. Here we go. Try it again. <clears throat> yeah. All right, everybody. Nice. And five, six, seven. Uh, air. Good. Good. Okay. So that's your first note, right? Let's go ahead and find our second note, which we said is going to be G, right? So we just take away the pinky. Okay? So we have F, G. Okay? Do you guys know what A is? Good. What about B flat? Try again. Good. Okay. So we take another way, another finger. What's C? Good. Take away another finger. What's D? Take away another finger. Somebody show me what E is. And finally, F. Boom. That's your F major scale, right? You just remove fingers all the way up until you're just at your thumb. Let's go ahead and try it. Okay. We're just gonna, I'm gonna give you each note one at a time, okay? So we're gonna start on F, okay? Then we'll go to G, then A, and so on. Ready? And five, six, seven. And... Oh, be careful, not that bottom one right there. Oh, here we go, try it again. Five, six, seven. You guys just played your first scale. Not too hard, right? Yeah, very nice. Okay. Cool. So now you can go show all your practice and be like, yeah, I know my scale. I know my scale. And they'll be like, what? Cool. How many, how many minutes are we at? Uh, 15 or 17. Okay, cool. Okay, um, I'm gonna work with you really quick. Um, can I get you to uh, sit up straight really quick? I wanna see if we, can, if we can make you play a little bit louder. But what I want you to do is when you play, what you're doing is you're kind of looking down a little bit. Um, whenever I do that, or whenever I did that on, on clarinet, it, it like puts a lot of tension here in my throat and I can't put a lot of air out. So what I want you to do is I want you to just look straight and I want you to play a C. Uh, actually, can everybody do this? Everybody's gonna play a C. And when you play, you're, not, you're gonna try not to move anything on your face. You're just gonna set your embouchure, breathe, and play. You, I don't want you to do any other movement, okay? Sit up a little bit too, like when you're leaning back. Yeah, there we go. Come out to the edge of our seats. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Ready? Breathe. Keep your head up. Yeah. Cool. Just you. One, two. Ready? Yeah, very nice. Just try and think relaxed. Think relaxed like you're sighing. Like, ah, I don't want to be here right now. Ah, I'd rather be at home watching cartoons or ah, I'd rather be at home sleeping. Yep. That kind of sigh. Just nice and relaxed breath. One, two, three, and. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I think the more tension you're going to put, the more you're going to like crush your sound. Um, and sometimes, and it can go for everybody too, if we have too much tension, with the bottom lip, what it does is it touches the reed um, too hard and the reed can't vibrate anymore. And that's what makes the sound, right? So just make sure you're nice and relaxed and still producing a good sound. Yeah? Did you have anything? With regards to that, no. I'm kind of interested to hear this piece you guys got though. Which one? What do you think? This African. African, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay. Have you guys worked on it yet? Uh oh. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, just break down the first couple of measures here. What's that first note? A. Cool. What's that second note? Still an A. Still an A. Third note? Fourth note? G. And? F. F. There we go. Okay. Now I want you guys to look really closely at what's happening here. Rhythmic. So does anybody know what that little curvy line right between those two notes are? Yes. Go 
looks like a smile and a smiley face. <clears throat> Does it mean you're supposed to smile in between those notes? No, right? I thought that for the longest time. <laughs> yeah, it's in tie, actually. Tie. I'm not even yep. looking, I'm sorry. Yes, it's, it's, a it's a tie. And what it means is that you tie these two notes together. Okay? So really, I want you guys to only think about playing that first one. Okay? This note is just an extension of this one. Okay? So, do you know how to count this measure? Okay, if you've been listening, they've been practicing this. Okay, that's your first measure. Everybody clap with me. Here we go. And five, six, seven, eight. Cool. Now let's try and sing it. We have A A G A F. Here we go. Five, six, seven, A A G A. Okay, don't be late on that um, third um, third note. Okay, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. A, A, G, A, F. Cool. Now let's just start transferring this to our instrument. Go ahead and find A. Show me the fingering for A. Uh, A, do you want to do an octave up? I think that's where it's written. It's written there? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So there's A, then what's G? Awesome, what's A? What's F? Oh, what's that low F? Remember when we had the pinky? Mm -hmm. Careful, don't let your fingers read it yourself. Cool, so let's go ahead and try that, okay? Singing and fingering along now, okay? We're gonna do A, A, G, A, 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 G, A, F, and five, six, seven, eight. A, A, G, A, F. Okay, make sure you get your fingers moving. Here we go. And five, six, seven, and A, A, G, A, F. Okay, so what's going to be the trickiest part about that? What do you guys think? The F? Okay, why? You gotta get your pinky down. What else do you have to get down? Let's go from A to F, okay? Here's A, right? You have to bring both down at the same time, okay? So let's practice that real fast. Let's go A, F. Oh, you missed. Make sure you get that inside. Okay, let's try it one more time. A. And so what I'm seeing from you guys is you're like, ah, and you got this super tension going on, right? Your fingers don't need to fly away from the instrument, okay? It's okay to just go, here's A, F. Make the motion small, okay? Here we go, let's try it again. A, F, A, F, G, ah. cool. So let's go ahead and try it in time again, just that first measure. It's A, A, G, A, F, right? And just fingering and singing. Five, six, seven, eight. A, A, G, A, F. Cool. Let's go ahead and try putting it on our instruments and see what happens, okay? I think you guys are ready? Okay, so. And five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Good, good. Let's try and get a little bit more sound, okay? We're starting to slide back a little bit again. Yeah, here we go. And five, six, seven, eight, eight, Yep, still having a little bit of problem getting that pinky around. Show that when you're playing the eight, uh, your right hand fingers, you're, they tend to like. Like to not want really to stay tense close to the clarinet, so that way when you have to add a finger, you have to find the your wrist out. If you have them bit. just like hovering above, all you have to do is press down. It'll make it so you can play a lot faster. Okay, and on right saxophone, um, if you if you move your feel fingers a around, um, yeah, it's just, so a little bit easier than straight like that, but yeah. it's also going to be do a lot what harder. Is comfortable. The instrument's yeah. designed so just keeping your hands. 
nice okay. and, and relaxed over the tone holes is going to make it so much easier. And you can also, for all of this, you can leave your pinky right above that. So that way, as soon as you have to do the F, you're not having to move your pinky. All you do is just push it down. Just be careful, like, you're not like, so Yeah. Cool. Let's try it again. Let's get, let's go for a little bit more sound, okay? I believe. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Here we go. Five, six, seven. Uh, okay. Let's try it one more time. Let's make sure we have a good breath in. And that we start the air on time. Here we go. And five, six, seven. Let's try just going. Let me hear an A. Oh, wait. Keep the air going. Here we go. Cool. Make sure that you don't change anything. Okay, once you get the note, just keep everything nice and still and just focus on your air. Try again. Okay, there you go. Cool. Now we're just gonna go A. I'm gonna give you guys an A, and then I want you guys to just go straight to F. So we're just gonna be playing A, F. Here we go. And five, six, seven, A. One more time, let's make it a little bit more smooth. Here we go. Think about what your fingers need to do, okay? And make sure that pressure your chest to your neck. Yeah. Cool. And five, six, seven. Cool. So I think we all know what we need to like practice a little bit, okay? Just making sure that we can get these fingers, these bottom fingers, to go to the right here. What's our time? Uh, you have about three minutes. So you need to. What's our time? Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and play this this first measure here and just see where it goes. And five, six, seven. Cool. Well, I think it definitely sounds better than it did before, right? Do you guys kind of understand what's going on a little bit more? <coughs> cool. Let's go ahead and look at this uh, this second measure here. What's this note? A, followed by another, A, followed by another, A. What's this business? Oh. Oh, be careful. It's not below A, it's above A. It's a B what? Sure. Oh, B flat. Okay. Just like we practiced. And then, what's that last note right there? G. Okay, cool. So let me hear, let me see your A. Okay, what's B flat? Right, just take away. What's A again? And then what's G? Cool. So let's go ahead and do that in time. So we have A, 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 B, G, B flat, G, and five, six, seven, A. <laughs> yep, careful, go. Let's try just fingers, okay? Fingers and singing. A, A, B flat, G, and five, six, seven, A, 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 B, G, A, 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 B flat, G, yeah, my bad, I see. Let's try it one more time. Five, six, seven, A, 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 B flat, G. Cool. And same thing, um, going from that B to G, right? You gotta get two fingers down at the same time. Okay, let's go ahead and try it. Okay, you guys can do it. Make sure we have good air, good posture. And five, six, seven. Close, close. Take three seconds. Practice fingering on your own. Okay, we're gonna try it one last time and that'll be it for today. Unless you have anything else. Cool. Okay, try it. I wanna see fingers moving, guys. All right, here we go. Ready? Second measure. Five, six, seven. Nice. Got it. Cool. All right, well, thank you guys for letting us work with you. And hope it helped a little bit. What's the scale? 
Okay. It just, what you guys need, it's just a series of notes that you use to play your music. Okay? I think you guys can remember that? Cool. What scale are we playing in? You are correct. Okay? Cool. So go share with your friends that you know your F scale and they'll be like, what is that? They're like, what do they do in that room? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cool. Just, just remember the fingers, um, keeping them over the tone hole rather than trying to find it every single time. Yeah. And not doing anything constricting with your neck. Yeah. You'll be able to play a lot freer that way. Okay. What's articulation? What's articulation? It's how you what the note. Like Yes, but more specifically, what part of the note? Is it the middle, the end? The beginning. The beginning. Right. It's how you start the note. That's what we're looking for. So what's articulation? Cool. How you start the note. Cool. All right. I think that wraps it up for today. Thank you guys. Thank you. Keep playing. I think you guys will just go back out there. Yep.